So we've had our Vent Axia Pure Air Home Plus Heater PIV unit installed for a couple of weeks now. So I wanted to give you a quick update on how we're finding it and whether I'd recommend it or not. Initially, the main thing we noticed was uh, it was cold, like it, it made the hallway so much colder, especially in the evenings, which I guess is when the outside air temperature drops off quite considerably. There was a bit of a musty smell from the um, from the attic, but uh, that again is quite a common uh, occurrence. So um, it wasn't it wasn't uh, a surprise. Those smells have actually gone away now. Occasionally on a hot day, you smell the attic, but not not bad really, um, considering. So the unit is fitted up there. Um, it's nice and discreet. Um, it's pretty good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have said it's the best made thing, like there's this cover which is doesn't clip in properly, which is annoying. Um, you have to remove this cover in order to get to the screws to install it, so yeah, stuff like that just annoys me. It's pretty quiet, I don't know if you can hear it now. You can just hear a faint hum from the um, from the fan when it's going. But again, pretty, pretty good. So the idea of a positive input ventilation is to force the um, old stagnant and, and damp air out of your house through the various nooks and crannies that you that you have. So if you've got a, a really well sealed house, it's probably not actually that great an idea. I did want to have a um, like a heat recovery unit, but because of the design of the house and because it's an old house, the biggest issue is going to be running pipes around. So in the end, um, after several people had said the same thing, we decided to give this a go. I think it's about £350 or something like that to, to buy the unit. And I just installed it myself, which wasn't uh, wasn't too difficult. You know, again, the, the manufacturing quality isn't amazing, um, which in turn meant it wasn't it wasn't difficult to install but it could have been easier i guess and there's certain aspects like that cover where it just seems a bit cheap and a bit rubbish essentially all it is is a is a big fan up in the attic with a couple of filter socks on it and uh, we've opted for the heating element um to to kind of warm the air when it is below a certain temperature i don't think the heating element is doing that great to the job um, if it is working really well then it would be really cold without it I guess um, so let me show you the upstairs where I fitted it up here is the unit so it's quite a large unit you compare it that's our hot water cylinder it's not a small and you can hear this noise coming from it which is also quite irritating to be honest. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or not. And then the duct is going down into the ceiling and I'll see out there. This is quite a short run. Um, to wire it, I've just installed a plug on the end of the, uh, the cable and that way you can get it correctly fused and just um, yeah, plug it straight in to a socket if you have it available. You have the option of um, either hanging the unit or there, there are these legs that you can use. Um, obviously I've opted to hang it because it's just faster and easier and it also removes the chance of any vibrations on the ceiling. So yeah, we're still getting condensation on the windows. Um, I guess it's still fairly early days. Some people say it's, it's solved their issues overnight almost. Um, I'm slightly dubious whether it's going to work. I have to say I'm a bit of a pessimist on this front. My wife thinks it's, uh, my wife, Tamsin, my wife, Tamsin thinks it's made a big difference already. So, uh, you know, maybe I'm just not noticing it, but she thinks it's, um, the air seems clearer and nicer. So, um, yeah. We'll give it a bit longer and, and see, but um, 
I think with hindsight, I think what I would probably would have preferred to do is install um, single heat recovery units. So as we can run pipe work around the house easily, you can get units which are designed to work in single rooms. So you'd install one in the bathroom, maybe one in the kitchen. And then you're actually heating the fresh air coming in from the stagnant air, which is going out, which uh, obviously is beneficial. But I at least feel then that the stagnant air is being pulled out as opposed to trying to force it through nooks and crannies in your house. And obviously the better inside your house, the better, uh, the better, well, the more energy you save. So therefore, um, the harder the unit's going to have to work to try and force the air out. Essentially, all this thing is thing is doing is pumping air from the attic into the house. So you could just open the windows um, once a day or something like that and change the air out that way. So, yeah, I guess it's um, my feed. My my conclusion thus far is that I'm not entirely sold on the unit. If you're not allowing any fresh air into your room, into your house, then yeah, great, you know, stick this in and then you don't have to think about opening the windows. But if you are wondering whether this is gonna transform your house for, for the better and um, cure all your mold and condensation issues, then I'd be slightly more skeptical about it.